Hello, hello, hello. Uh, this broadcast is going to be in regards to uh, streaming to Twitch through OBS and how to set up your audio, your mics and whatnot, so that um, you have total control over who hears what. Uh, title of it is Open Broadcaster Software, Daisy and TeamSpeak Audio Traffic for Broadcasting Live to, tw to Twitch Streams. Okay, uh, first off, um, you're going to have to go and download some software. It's a um, virtual audio cable driver system. Um, and um, the links will be down below. But uh, basically, uh, just uh, go down below, click on the link, and uh, go down about halfway down through the page. Here, I'll show it to you. Um, right here. This is the page it'll send it to. And then scroll down to right here and download it. It'll pop up and install it like you would anything else. Um, I do believe you're going to need some uh, unarchiving software or something like um, um, let's see, it's a zip, it's a zip package, so you're going to have to extract it and then run the uh, setup 64 or the regular setup file for whatever system you have. All right, let's go back to here. Okay. Uh, these lines represent certain types of audio and where they go. Um, as you can see here, I got my headset and I have my mic. I want my mic output to go to TeamSpeak. I also want to go to my game, DayZ. And um, if I want my Twitch followers to hear what I'm saying while I'm talking in the game, I also need to set up a key for OBS. And that'll be uh, the same as whatever the game is. In this case, uh, default is caps lock. Okay. So basically, I hit a key. I talk to TeamSpeak. I hit another key. I talk to my Twitch followers, and I hit another key, and I talk to uh, the game inside the game. So, but to do that, you have to install an extra audio driver because Windows by itself, I could not get it to do it, um, even with the um, uh, mixer turned on. It still wouldn't do it for me. So I downloaded the uh, virtual audio cable and I set a couple of defaults. Uh, the first default you need to send is your playback. Uh, playback default needs to be the cable input and you basically right click, click on playback, scroll down until you find your virtual device that you installed. Right, uh, well mine's already defaulted, but uh, you right click and right under this uh, option here will be set as default, click it, and this turns green. Alright, now go to your recording tab, go to your mic, whatever you use to talk with, and the same thing. Um, if this isn't green, you'll have a, uh, a pop, a little option here to set as default, click it, little green arrow pops up, you're good to go, click OK. Alright, now we set up our two defaults. What we need to do next is we got to set up our software. So what we're going to do is go into TeamSpeak. And I have it open right here. Let me bring it down to you. <coughs> go into Settings, Options, Playback. And you're going to set your uh, playback mode to direct sound. Or I believe the uh, Windows Audio Session will work also. But I'm using direct sound. It seems to be working for me. Also, you need to set your playback device. Now, we already set a default uh, device um, in our first section here, so that's what you're going to set it to as default. All right, and you're done here, go to capture. Uh, yeah, 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 save. Uh, okay, next you're going to go to your capture. Again, capture mode is going to be automatic used, automatically used best mode. Okay, and your capture device is also set to default which is the mic. Okay, you can set mic if you want, but just use default cuz you already set it. Keeps things simple. Also too, you need to set your push to talk if you want to keep your uh, um, keep more control of what audio goes where and I have mine set to control. Click okay. You're done here. Move this out of the way. Next thing you need to do is set up your OBS. Here's my OBS. It's running. It's also recording this uh, video. But you're going to go to settings, audio, 
and you set your uh, desktop audio devices to default as I do here and your microphone or auxiliary audio device to default as well which is your mic okay also too uh, OBS is wonderful because you can set up to two push to talk keys now normally I only have one because I don't really care if people hear what I'm saying inside the game I only care about what they hear when I'm answering chat messages but um, if you want when you're talking in the game you want your twitch followers to hear that set it as same key in this case mine would be caps lock set it apply and forget it and you're done so move this out of the way Daisy has no um, way of setting up audio devices in the game um, it's still in an alpha release and it's very very uh, virgin as you might say it's got a lot of work that needs to be done on it so this is the only way I could find to have granular control over where my audio goes All right. let's see some of the benefits here you can see is um, um, that uh, I didn't want TeamSpeak being broadcasted over Twitch because all that chatter just makes for extra noise and I don't want to give my followers that. Um, you can if you want to, you know, it's up to you. Um, to me it's a privacy issue, so and that's why I do it. Uh, it also keeps the noise clutter down and it lets the followers uh, focus more on the game and not all the chit chat. Also, too, um, why set each key for applications? So if I didn't want um, Twitch viewers thinking I was talking about a chat post when I was really talking to a teammate in TeamSpeak. Uh, I didn't want that confusion. And uh, for those that do not have a private and quiet room like I do, I live in a very small house with a large family. It gets rather noisy. And uh, by pressing a key, I control when audio goes out and where it goes. So for me, that's great. Um, like I said earlier, if you want to have your audio go into your game and to your Twitch followers, make sure that secondary binding key is the same as what's in the game. Okay? And everybody's happy. Uh, I think that's about it. Let's see here. Um, pull up this. No, shoot. I'll pull up Daisy real quick and give you a quick for instance Now you hear Daisy. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to go into settings on my hockeys and go push to talk. And once I apply this, I have to push a button so you can hear me. So. Alright, now I'm pressing my mouse button, mouse button 4, and I'm able to talk to my Twitch followers. And let me click back in here. And now I'm able to talk to both in game and my Twitch followers at the same time. Um, right now, obviously, it's not talking in game because I have you no know, game playing, but it will work once I do it because I can hold down my control key, or I mean my mouse 4 key if I want to, or just hold down my catch lock key and everybody at the key, press down the, the key, we're talking, and I let go of it, and we're talking, and there you go, see, it works. So, let me close this out.
I'm going to go back to here, set my settings. Now I can finish this video with audio, and I don't have to press a key. But, yep, what happened here? Oh, oh my god. What happened? Oh, there we go. All right. So basically, this is the outline. Um, it said Mike goes to Teamspeak, OBS, and Daisy, all on separate keys. These two can be on the same key if you set it through OBS. Audio only goes to the headset from Teamspeak and only from the game, which is all there is really. And um, my audio out through OBS to Twitch, and from the game. Audio out from the game to Twitch. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Like I said, the link for the um, virtual audio cable will be also posted below. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for uh, more educational and entertaining videos that I'll be putting out in the future. Uh, also, hit my uh, twitch.tv site at uh, dailywalk365 and uh, hit the follow button there if you're interested. Again, thank you for viewing my video and uh, have a great, great life.